Our next and last agenda item is the regulatory program actions. As you may know, this commission regulates water withdrawals and consumptive water use for projects throughout the basin and that meet certain thresholds established in the commission's regulations. Under section 3.10 of the Susquehanna River Basin Compact, the commission may approve, approve with modifications, or deny applications for proposed projects. We have a number of project applications for consideration and action on the agenda. But before we proceed to vote, I want to offer a few comments beyond what I mentioned in my opening remarks. Additionally, I would like to identify a suggested path forward given the somewhat unique situation in front of us today. At the Commission's last quarterly meeting held December 15, 2011 in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, we took action on 26 project applications. As part of that action, we tabled one application, denied another, and approved 24. As a result of the disruption that occurred at that meeting by unruly members of the audience, a number of persons wishing to testify and provide comment on those projects were precluded from doing so as a result of the premature adjournment necessi necessitated by that disruption. To afford the interested public with that opportunity, the Commission decided to reopen the record to allow for additional public comment. We convened a public hearing in Harrisburg on February 16, 2012, and we also left the record open for submission of additional written comment until February 27, 2012. Many took advantage of that opportunity. The members of the Commission have had the opportunity to review the record for all projects scheduled for action here today, including those originally acted on at the December 15, 2011 meeting. This includes all comments received in the normal course of our project review phase, those provided at the February 16, 2012 hearing, including the transcripts and the written comments that were submitted through February 27, 2012. In order to facilitate an orderly procedure for this part of the agenda, I will first ask for a motion to reconsider the action we took at the December 15, 2011 meeting. <coughs> Upon adoption of that motion, I will then call on Commission staff to present its recommendations concerning both sets of projects on today's agenda, namely the December 15, 2011 project list and the additional projects scheduled for action in the normal course of business. We will then proceed to take an action on all of them. With that explanation as a backdrop, I ask the following question. Is there a motion to reconsider the action taken on the previously noted 26 project applications at the December 15, 2011 meeting? Madam Chair, I move that the Commission reconsider its vote, adopting a motion taking final action on 26 project applications has been recommended by staff at the December 15, 2011 meeting of the Commission in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. As a point of parliamentary order, I note for the record that I was present at the meeting and voted in the affirmative, affirmative in the adoption of the motion for which reconsideration is now sought. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Thank you. The motion having been properly made and seconded, the members will proceed to vote. All those in favor say aye. I pledge to protect the Susquehanna. Oh. I pledge to protect the Susquehanna. All those I pledge to protect say the no. Susquehanna. I pledge to protect the 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 Susquehanna. All those in favor say aye. and the motion to reconsider is hereby adopted. The question now before the commission is reconsideration of its December 15, 2011 vote. With unanimous consent, we will lay the question on the table to afford staff an opportunity to present its recommendations related to the 26 project applications that are the subject of the reconsideration motion and as well those noted for action at today's meeting, including one notice for rescission action and 34 additional projects. I now call upon the question.
motion of reconsideration. Is there a motion to approve the recommendations of staff regarding the disposition of the projects previously acted on December 15, 2011? Upon, recommend, upon reconsideration, I move upon reconsideration and consistent with the recommendation of staff, I move that the commission again approve its previous motion of December 15th, amended to exclude from the scope of that motion the tabling of the Stanley S. Park Sr. project application, which is scheduled for action with the list of additional project applications at today's meeting. Is there a second to this motion? I see a second from the Commissioner from Maryland. The motion having been properly made and seconded, the members will proceed to vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it and the motion is hereby adopted. As the next order of business, is there a motion to approve and recommendation of staff regarding the disposition of additional project applications? Thank you. Is there a second to that motion? Second by New York. The motion having been properly made and seconded, the members will proceed to vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed. The ayes have it and the motion is hereby adopted. That concludes our business for today's meeting. Thank you for coming. Is there is there a motion to adjourn? Madam Chair, I have a motion to adjourn. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.